Inside boxes like these on the Florida Keys, a possible key to what scientists hope will slow an invasive and dangerous mosquito species. They're called Aedes aegypti and are known to carry diseases like Zika, Dengue, and Yellow Fever, the females spreading infection with their bites. In the Keys, they make up just about 4% of the mosquito population, but are responsible for virtually all of the mosquito-borne disease transmission uh, to humans. The potential solution starts at Oxitex Lab, where tiny eggs are injected with a modified DNA strain, ultimately producing mosquitoes that have what's called a self-limiting gene. Only the male offspring can survive past an early stage. The boys, unlike their female counterparts, do not bite. They run out of females to, to meet with, and that's how you bring the population down. This week, Oxitec began the process of releasing 140,000 male eggs in six locations along the Keys. That is part of a live experiment greenlit by the EPA. Though some environmentalists are crying foul. Genetic engineered organisms are not something that we can control. Evolution will find its own way. This isn't disrupting anything within the environment naturally. We haven't seen that, no, and we are targeting the Aedes aegypti that is invasive. The company says similar projects in Brazil led to a 94% reduction of the targeted mosquito population and point out their research is peer-reviewed. Locally, residents buzzing about benefits and risks of unexpected consequences. My gut feeling says it's probably not a good thing. You know, it, we don't know enough about it. The EPA says they conducted an extensive risk assessment based on the best available science and does not expect the trial to have adverse effects to animals in the environment. Does this represent the potential for greatly reducing the amount of Zika or dengue fever that's prevalent in a community? We hope so. That's why we're doing this. The boy, the debate on this one's crystal clear here. OK, so we know this is going on in Florida, Sam. Are they planning to bring this project anywhere else in the U.S.? Yeah, that's the game plan, Hoda. And here's the thing. The mosquitoes only travel a few hundred yards, so this is very surgical. But if it works here, it can be exported to other places, not just to Florida, but across the world. This company, Oxitec, has used a similar technology in places like Panama, Malaysia, Mexico, Brazil, as we mentioned. So it's been out there. They've used it for taking care of pests that destroy crops and now also disease. Guys, back to All you. All right. Sam Brock for us there. Sam, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.